Hey friends, Asher with Gen Sense, and now for something completely different in the words of Monty Python. Today I'm going to be going over five different fragrances that I think king of YouTube PewDiePie should wear. I, I don't really know if Pewds wears fragrances. I have no clue. I did actually Google, does PewDiePie wear cologne? I didn't really pull anything up. So I've gone ahead and taken it upon myself to come up with five different fragrances that I think would work well for PewDiePie for different reasons, which I'll go over as I go through each fragrance. So let's jump into it. So the first fragrance is from the house of Diesel. And you may already know what it is if you're familiar with the house and familiar with PewDiePie. It's only the Brave High. And why am I going with only the Brave High? Because in my opinion, it's the closest one bottle wise that looks like the PewDiePie Bro Fist. Yeah, Bro Fist. Do I think realistically that PewDiePie would want a bottle that sort of vaguely looks like the Bro Fist logo? Probably not, no but I had to put it in here. I mean, it's just too obvious. So this one has mint, grapefruit, ginger, geranium, and some woody notes in it. The Diesel Only the Brave line is not the most highly respected line of fragrances from fragrance connoisseurs, uh, but it is actually a really wearable line of fragrances. This one is similar to the original Only the Brave, but fresher, essentially a sportier take on that DNA. And one of the perfumers behind it, Carlos Benaim, is actually one of the biggest perfumers of all time. So this one's very easy to wear, youthful, it's sporty. Some people would say generic, but other people would say really likable. So, you know, do you wanna be a sourpuss and say, oh, it's generic? Or do you wanna be looking on the positive side of things and say, oh, you know, that's just really likable. Okay, next up, a fragrance from the house of Ralph Lauren, Polo Red Intense. The reason behind this one, the thinking behind this one, is the main note of the fragrance. I'm like Italian now. The main note of the fragrance, cranberry. There's also coffee, ginger, and amber in the fragrance, among other notes, but cranberry. Now you might ask, why cranberry? And this one is a slight reach, but not a super huge reach. PewDiePie's flavor of G Fuel is centered around lingonberry, which is Swedish, of course, like PewDiePie. Cranberry is about as close as I can get to lingonberry in terms of fragrance notes. And Polo Red Intense is actually a really nice cranberry fragrance with that coffee mixing very well with it. And that's the reason I've chosen this fragrance as one of the fragrances PewDiePie should wear, cranberry, giving you that Lincolnberry effect. And as a bonus, it's a really well-liked fragrance that does very well pulling positive attention. Next up, I have a Swedish house for PewDiePie, of course, because he's Swedish. I know, I'm, I'm big brain right now. This one's from the house of Byredo, Bald Off Freak. This one opens up with a good blast of fruits. You've got the lemon, bergamot, and black currant. Black currant giving you a little bit of tartness. There's some florals as it dries down. And then of course, the vetiver, which is the focus of the fragrance. Vetiver is one of my favorite notes. And in this fragrance, it is used very well. It's a very versatile fragrance. You can use it in many different situations and it smells high class. So by Red Old Bald Afrique, Swedish fragrance for uh, Swedish beauty pie. And the next fragrance is, is also pretty obvious in my opinion. So Felix, PewDiePie, he is the king of YouTube. And so he needs the fragrance that is the king of fragrances, at least what a lot of people say is the king of fragrances. Of course, Creed Aventus. I know, I know, Aventus. Everybody talks about Aventus. Seems like everybody owns Aventus or a clone of Aventus. But if for any reason, he does not own Aventus, definitely should. Got pineapple, bergamot, birch, vanilla, musk, apple. Uh, you know it, everybody knows it. <laughs> We've talked about it a hundred times. It is the most copied fragrance out there. 
I'm pretty sure. It seems like everybody has a version of it. Different niche fragrance houses have versions of Aventus. You have designer fragrance houses that have versions of Aventus, and then you have just straight up clones and knockoffs of Creed Aventus. It's everywhere. And it's one of the most popular fragrances for a good reason. People love it, and you can use it in any situation that you could possibly imagine. Of course, you also have batch variations with Aventus. Not all Aventus smells exactly the same. Sometimes you'll have a smokier Aventus. Sometimes you'll have a fruitier Aventus. Sometimes you'll have an Aventus right in between. A little bit of smoke, a little bit of fruit. So that can be annoying, and that's really a rabbit hole that's probably not worth going down. If you're just now getting into fragrances, yeah, don't do it. Still yet though, Aventus, king of fragrances, Felix, king of YouTubers. Now, for the last choice, I had originally thought of going with a fragrance that had a whiskey note in it, and then I, I thought better of it, and I switched it to a fragrance based in the UK. And this one is another fragrance that's a little more high-end. It's Elysium from Raja Parfum. There are actually a ton of notes in Elysium. It's a fragrance that's got a lot going on. Ultimately though, what this one is, is a very pleasing, easy to wear fragrance. Huge compliment puller, and it smells basically like the most expensive blue fragrance that you can get your hands on. And in case you don't know what a blue fragrance is, just boil down to the simplest basics. It's a fragrance made for mass appeal to be used in almost any situation, and oftentimes those fragrances are placed into blue bottles, like Blue de Chanel, Dior Sauvage, Yves Saint Laurent, Y, on and on. Elysium is a sparkling, bright fragrance, very uplifting, fantastic for daytime, especially in the spring and summer. And I guess I'll throw in sort of a bonus fragrance a little bit. It's from Bentley, Bentley from in Intense. Now, this one does have a boozy note, but it, it's not whiskey, it's a rum note. I don't know if that makes things better or not. I don't think so. But there are also woods, incense, leather, and cinnamon in this fragrance. The reason I insert this one kind of in the back end of the list is this is a much more affordable UK-based fragrance. Well, UK in the sense that Bentley is from the UK. <laughs> and uh, it's more affordable than Raja Parfum Elysium by a lot. Does it smell like Elysium? <laughs> no, not even remotely close. It's basically the polar opposite of Elysium. But that's also why I included it. It's a completely different feel with the same idea. So this one is rich, it's warm, it's boozy, it's spicy, it's smoky, it's super masculine. Performance is great, the price is great as well, as long as you buy from discounters. And this one, Bentley Intense, gets compared to more expensive fragrances out there like Idole de Louban or Olfactive Studio Chambre Noir. So there we go. Five, technically six, fragrances that PewDiePie should wear. I've been a fan of PewDiePie's for years and years and years and years and had the idea to do this video a while ago, just didn't get around to it until now. And maybe in the future, I'll do some more videos like this, fragrances that celebrities, whether internet or otherwise, should wear. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me. If you can think of a fragrance that PewDiePie should wear that I did not put in this list, put it in the comments below, let me know. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support, stay safe out there, and I will see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.